Hey everyone, I'm Koala without a bear. Yeah, this is actually being recorded a few months after we finished uh, the episode 35. And unfortunately, Bear has gone off to greener and better pastures. And by that, I mean Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> uh, yeah, he couldn't join me, but, um, you know, uh, ho hopefully you can make it next time uh, whenever Child Light 2 comes out. So um, this episode is pretty much just uh, cleanup and uh, getting any last like achievements and stuff like that. Uh, and then just like a reflection on like how the whole series went from a gameplay perspective and from my perspective as far as editing and, you know, um, just looking back and reflecting on how the whole series went. So um, first off, I'm going to start off on the uh, title screen. The reason being is because uh, New Game Plus is actually on the no uh new game plus is actually on the screen essentially it's just a way of restarting the story over again uh, everything is scaled up you keep all of your levels your items everything stays and you can but you can recollect your stardust that's out in the field and the enemies just become harder so it's like a very hard mode so for those of you who want the extra challenge after beating the campaign this is for you so um first off i mean well we start over here at the altar after we beat the game the first thing i want to take care of is actually back where we uh <laughs> um beat the final boss so um the thing that i'm actually going towards right now is the chest that we were missing um at in episode 35, I believe, um, I went through the entire game and I was in the last room before fighting the two bosses and I noticed that I was missing one and I was, <laughs> I just couldn't think of where I missed it. But now going back, I remember where I missed it. It was actually just in the ro main room in the mo main foyer, if you want to be special. And uh, hold on, actually, I can go this way. Um, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know if you can tell, but it's been a while since I played this game, so <laughs> please excuse all mistakes, please, please and thank you. So, the one chest I was missing was behind this little bugger, so I'm just gonna quickly get it, and bingo. So, there we go, that's the, actually, the last chest. Yay! So, with that, you should probably get, uh, one of the achievements for, um... I think for Xbox, because um, I don't know if that's on PS uh, PlayStation. Um, I know it's definitely not for um, PC. PC has it's it's really dumb. Each um, each console or each port of this game has a different set of achievements. Um, Xbox technically has the most, but um, outside of that, they're all generally the same, and most of them are story related. So um, the only ones that um you know shouldn't be like normally gotten just through a normal playthrough um and I, what i haven't shown are pretty much um devastating five foes which you know is, i guess kind of comes with time um uh and one other one that is uh you know you kind of have to go out of your way for is an achievement called through the looking glass and it requires you to send an oculi to a friend um so essentially when you go to your oculi um if i know where to go <laughs> um so yeah so when you're in this menu you have a button for x called gift so or in my case it's x because i'm playing with an xbox controller so um, you can give it to uh, a friend. Uh, since I'm on PC, the social media form on PC is through Uplay. And as you can see, I have no friends. Um, but that's okay though, because even if you don't have a friend who technically has this game, you can still send uh, Oculi to your no friend, haha, <laughs> and still get the achievement. So I can press that and maybe or not huh okay maybe maybe I was talking through my butt maybe you do need a friend on your friends list but they don't necessarily need to have the game 
I think that's what it is. So, because I remember doing it on uh, Xbox originally when I first did the first playthrough. Um, and it worked well. Like, I have a bunch of friends and none of them play this game. So just sharing it with one of my friends who was playing Call of Duty or something that worked out. So... Anyways, the point being is that you can simply just share with, as long as you have one friend. <laughs> that sounds so sad. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much it was just uh, that that one achievement, uh, you know, sh showstopper, which um, in requires you to interrupt three foes at the same time. It takes a little bit of like uh, planning and pre-adjustment, but... Um, it should, it should happen as long as you choose a move that attacks all foes at once. And um, there's then there's Perfect Sonnet, which if you watched all of my um, collection videos, which by the way, you should self-promo, um, <laughs> uh, you'll find all the confessions very easily. And um, you'll, you pretty much get that achievement just by watching my, uh, my collectible videos. Uh, speaking of confessions, uh, we can just uh, go through them. Um, you know, they they kind of give you a little bit more backstory. I'm missing one. What? <laughs> Hold on, BRB. You better get over here, you little bugger. Come over here. You... Where? Wait. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I got you, little piece of crap. All right. So there's n <laughs> there's never not a problem. <laughs> There's always, I'm always missing something. As soon as I find the missing something, I find something else I'm missing. Anyway, so when you collect all the confessions, uh, it pretty much gives you a little bit more background as to, like, the world of Child of Light. So, um, the first confession is, uh, The sentries have been unkind to us. Gods forgotten within white temples fade. Under lidded eyes, the palace sits frayed doors closed behind bleached rooms gathering dust the gilded thrones gleam muted by dull rust rings worn into still walls chart neglect laid that is a interesting sentence uh, strata of history cleaned by no maid no breezed mirrors shut glasses malted mod mod lead I've never actually seen that word before. Modeled with dust. Modeled with dust. The explorer stands still. Statues bleached white. Eyes lidded. Heads empty as the room. Plans fade for a future repainted bright. Pristine comes unclean without a fresh fight. The past reigns skeletal holding a blank slate. The gleaming potential of a tomb. Our bodies cut like dragonflies the air, dividing, parceling the winds for later, to unwrap carefully under the stair. Like bark, our skin stores fire's blinding blue flare. Earthquakes, our bones shake at their equator. Arched light from the sky dances in our hair. Gifts all hidden beneath surface willpower. Raging rivers subterranean pure. Water tapped before the explorer's tower by wild ones, keepers of magical power. They alone divided the deep source obscure, their grasp taught Lemuria to flower. Yet instead of giving, we build cages and bury truth, hide our world from the ages. Some say an idea can be dangerous, like creepers in the garden so serene. Beneath sprawling plants twisted unseen, exposing buried heads insidious, uprooting order created for us. Frenetic vines dividing stone and stream, intent on sacrificing virgin green, and turning intended rows to wilderness. But what of those who nurse the garden fair? The curious bees darting bloom to bloom, from outside the garden's limit they be and bring abundant life to nature's womb. Their fearsome sting may cause the meek to flee, but tangled creepers they coax to bear fruit. Pen scratches paper, the first to attack. Some lines end, 
ink out, well impotent, dry. Some drip, ruining many and nigh. Some run off the page and some never come back. Others bleed, cloaked in gowns of black. Father above son, rarely crossing wives. Boxing in pairs line up to die. All burn as they sign the hollow pact. Treaties, trees, and battle plans end the same. Under one roof executed, spell cried. Our kin ambushed in symbol's name. Family strikes out family, for crowns red dyed. Ink on paper drips down brows like rain. Poison pen plants a forest of pain. They say the four from out of darkness came. Mathildis shaped cruel nature with her art. The surging ocean symbols math did part. Rambert spread his wealth upon the barren plain. Aaron's spear lit the highest peak of flame. They say at the explorer's heart lies the secret of ages to impart. Through its fire, the wilderness did, they did tame. But if all was dark, from whence came their spark? Light dances along a chain, flaming bright, spreading out to a bridge the cold empty night, star to star, trailing blooms of red hot fire. Such a path must span our sky's blackened arc, leading to another dawn, a lost light. My eyes wide, mirrored black, I touched the glass. Here, by my hand, Symbol's daughter exiled, enemy of Lemuria reviled. Painted smile, loyal Angus made her pass. Path closed to all but the criminal class, decreed since the ancient rift was styled. A forbidden reflection, untamed, wild, fit for those beneath the chaotic mass. On this side, nothing moves, calcified. The explorers went in search of vision, yet, with tradition, we find ourselves in, imprisoned anew, frozen, a reflection of the past. The secret lies beyond my gaze, a journey vast. The glass I touch, touch I do, then fall through. Smoke boils black. Fire slides on twin slicks of ice. Through cities hot, ideas dance in the bars at night. Oculi unheard of, forgotten light. Invention shapes an engine, dream device. London's exhibition halls visited thrice. The salons of Paris lit with paintings bright. Munich makes music of transcendent might. Those, th these wonders of Europe more than entice. But between glimmering bulbs must most wonder, lost. The men here come and go, cloaks tight in distrust. The women tie their throats shut. All I know, all know only cost. One wears red, one blue, in flocks split they rust. Only the few whose gaze burn unclear of frost, I will, with Lemuria's secrets, trust. Love dissolves in the daylight, lost night's scent. A hand open in the candlelight begs, mine. I turn away, wick burn down to dregs. Czars, kaisers, princes, their charms are on, the charms on me spent. At dawn, my heart returned what was lent. Time's harsh touch owns me, whipping at my legs. The secret steps ahead. Guilt to me, time pegs, to abate Lemuria's fast descent. But day has its shadows, nooks under rocks. Someone no secrets knew who explored not. Time has its watchmaker, can stop all clocks. A meek duke trembling, Gentle hands drawn, one dance banished all light and night caught. You stood in the way and eclipsed the dawn. The mirror is thrown open, the search begun. All these years and the answer is laid plain. It was not hidden in the archives of Spain. 
The secret of Rome is far more than one. All they left behind at the fall of the run. For Lemuria we must now reclaim. They're explorers within their kingdom vain. A prize dropped in ruins lost from the sun. The future bright, first follow the starry night. Professor Balthazar manuscript, Balthazar's manuscript holds a clue, if read under Aaron's right. But will it close the rift? One world unite? Time fades to evening. Still, closer shadows drift. Who makes this right? Not me. You, my child of light. For Mr. Elm's eyes only. I'm not sure anyone here can re even read English, so I figure this letter is safe. I found the Balthazar book after you disappeared. The police gave up looking for you, but I knew better. I followed your trail, but I didn't expect this at all. I just heard a noise. I'm worried someone's coming. I'll write more later. Sophie Aston Ellis For Mr. Elm's eyes only, I took a bath in a stream for the first time in my life today. I went under to wash my hair, and when I came back up, a small creature about the size of a rabbit was looking down at me. It was perched on the surface of the river itself. I thought Manhattan had hard water. This place is over the moon. I guess I better get used to it. I'm starting to think I'll never find my way back. I hope you're out there somewhere. Sophie Ashton Ellis From Mr. Elm's eyes only. There is a raging storm outside, unlike any I've ever seen. Water spirits wander through the torrents of rain, wailing. Deafening crashes light up the violet sky above the plains. I'm not sure if they are caused by thunder or dragons. I've hidden in a small cave for safety. Clothes are drenched, but I managed to start a fire. Nothing to do but wait, so I'm taking the time to comb through Balthazar's book. Here's what I've learned about Lemuria so far. Lost Continent, I found the one online before I came. That one online before I came. You get to it through mirrors. Not certain whether traveling through time as well as space. Magic is real. Oh man, is this one like the bullet point to end all bullet points. That's it for now, the, the fire's dying. What an adventure this is turning out to be. I hope my parents are okay. Sophie Ashton Ellis For Mr. Elm's eyes only. This evening, while I was hunting for apples, don't worry, I used drawings of the poison-free ones in the book. I saw a floating castle in the distance. I suppose the Queen of Light lives there. Wonder what it would be like to rule over the wilds of Lemuria. From the map, I can see it's a pretty large place. It, it's taken me days of wandering and I've only seen a fraction of old Lemuria. What is outside the old part? What is the rest like? Maybe I'll get to explore it all. Hopefully once I find you though. After roasting a couple of apples on the fire, I'm using the dying flames to explore Balthazar's book. I'll just write these as I go. Fairy tales aren't so tailish. Even saw a griffin yesterday. Mysterious explorers built cities here a long time ago. Some are still populated. Sophia Ashton Ellis For Mr. Elm's eyes only. I heard strange sounds in the forest again last night. I'm worried that someone from the club followed me. I found the hut exactly where it was marked in the book, but aren't you here? But, but you aren't here. Where are you? Sophie Ashton Ellis For Mr. Elm's eyes only. I've spied a group of men with funny beards picking plants in the forest. They look a little like the gnomes my aunt perches on the branches of her Christmas tree. From the book, I suppose these are Kapili? I noticed something I've, I missed in the pages this time. A race that lives in the mountains and bathes in the hot springs called Amara. You've circled it. That's where I'm going next. More notes from the Balthazar. A powerful secret was hidden somewhere, although there seemed to be a lot of secret, at least to me anyway. The Hollow Pact, a betrayal that led to some kind of war between family lines caused by or about the rift. Afterward, someone from Symbol's line was expelled into our world by a queen of light and cursed to live in darkness if she returned. The rift? Something in the 1300s. Must be important. Sophie Ashton Ellis. Mr. Elm, it's worse than I thought. Two men followed me through the mirror. They're after you. Please find this. Or better yet, I hope you're far away. One of them has a gun. I'm leaving the hut and heading up into the mountains, into the snow. If you're there, keep warm. 
I'm coming, Sophie. So, yeah, I know that was kind of long, and I'll probably put a timestamp somewhere before I start, just to, you know, if anyone is not interested in that, they can just kind of skip over it. So, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, while I slowly go back to um, the altar, because I feel like that's a good place to end things, um, I'm just going to briefly talk about um, just the series in general, like my experiences with it, like just, just reflections in total. Um, I would have really liked to have Bear here, because, um, you know, he could give his perspective and all, but, um, you know, he's all the way in Atlanta, and, uh, you know, couldn't happen. Oh, um, one thing I actually forgot to mention was um, a DLC. I actually never uh, touched on that. Um, yeah, this game has a little bit of uh, DLC. Uh, not much, but, um, you know, it's still something. Um, most of the DLC for the game is just additional Oculi packs um, for of various combinations. You know, they'll give you, like, three uh, rubies, three sapphires, three emeralds in, in various combinations. Um, this, uh, to me, it's not really worth it because you can just kind of get this stuff, like, through battles and whatnot. But um, there are three um, DLCs that are of that might be of particular interest to you. Um, two of them are what's called Aurora Packs, which are um, a light Aurora Pack and a dark Aurora Pack. Um, essentially, they are palette swaps for Aurora. Um, the light one gives you um, changes her hair to orange and her dress to blue, and then the dark one uh, makes her hair white, and then I think her dress is black. Um, most of the time when you see people on YouTube doing Let's Plays, they usually have that color swap, at least that I've seen. Um, included in those packs are um, some rough forms of oculi, like a rough emerald or rum, rough sapphire, rough ruby, and then some stardust as well. Um, and then the light aurora pack uh, lets aurora gain the ability to heal. Um, I mean, it's, it's interesting, but like, you know, you have healing items and... Plus there's Rubella, and Rubella I feel like probably does a better job, but I mean, again, it's it's up to you, you know, whether you find worth in it or not. Um, the only DLC I feel like might be worth it if you were interested is the Golem's Plight pack. This pl pack includes a uh, extra side mission that when um, completed actually adds a new companion. Uh, I think his name is just Golem. Um, he's he's an interesting character. He's, he's, he's really heavy, he's hard hitting, he's really slow. And well, he's a golem. He's um, he's not entirely necessary as far as like finishing the game, but it's an interesting addition. Um, it also includes some rough forms oculi again, uh, or oculi, and an uh, item called Aaron Stone. Um, apparently, Aaron Stone is only obtainable through the DLC, and it has some unique effects. Uh, if you put it in the uh, weapon slot, it increases your chance of critical hit by two percent. If you put it in your armor slot, it increases dodging by 2%. And then if you add it to your accessory slot, if the wear of it dies in battle, they recover 50% of their HP afterwards. So it's it's definitely an interesting item. It's sort of like the Princess Stone as far as like interesting effects and only being obtainable through one means. Um, but uh, again, I mean... Um, you know, it's it's up to you on whether or not the, the DLC is worth it to you. I didn't necessarily cover it because I didn't feel like um, having it was necessary for beating the game. Um, so I just, you know, I just decided to cover it here because, you know, it's, it's simple. You can just cover it briefly and quickly. And yeah.